<coughs> Hello everyone. Um, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you guys about the Amazon interview questions. Uh, one of the interview questions is about find the shortest path in Treasure Island. So Treasure Island. So the solution to to find a shortest path in treasure I in in this uh treasure I islands right we need to uh, using this uh breath first search, breath first search. So basically, what is mean by breath first search? So given these um, uh solutions right, so uh, there is a difference between uh breath first search and depth first search so for the breath first search you need to like go through one first and then two three four and then five six then followed by seven eight then nine ten eleven twelve so but if let's say you are doing the uh depth first search then you are going to one two and then five nine then ten and then go back to previous one and then go to two and then do six and then come back here followed by um, 3, 4, then 7, then 11, then 4, and then back to 8 and 12. So that, this is the difference. So, so let's get started. Um, so this is the initial, initial um, questions. And let me explain a little bit for this island. So let's, let us uh, call this matrix uh, 4 times 4. Uh, array and we have this uh, O is a walkable path and then we, the T is the obstacle and X is the final destination that we want to go to so for example for this island right we will start from uh, so 0 which is a uh, index 0 0 uh, so if let's say it's a 0 so this one is a walkable path so this one go to here let's say if for human how we determine that the, the shortest path for this whole island so basically it's from zero this one and then here here and then here here so it's the one step one step two step three step four step and five step so the explanation output should be five and then explanation route should be the zero zero and then zero one and then one one and then two one and then um two zero and then three zero so just for your information always start with uh, zero zero okay um so this is the basic uh uh things and then let us try to run the um so right now we don't have any code and then we return back to zero so this is the things so let's get started uh, so for this one right so we need to know let know what is a starting point starting point is zero zero which is the index that we give to the starting point so x index x index is start point zero and then y index is one so we also need to know the length of the uh, the island how big is the island basically is like this in python we need to know the grid in the row maybe i make it clear a bit row length and then the column length is a uh, grid the first call first row we need we can know like how big is the uh uh the, the column basically so um if let's say if let's say the grid um x index y index starting point is zero then we can start because that one is something we can go through the whole thing so for the breath first search right you need to use q the different uh between uh breakfast the the the, so the method that we need to use is a uh, uh, q q method so for the that first search is a stack method so for the q method we need to put the object inside so 
Yep. Uh, the first object is uh, which is this uh, start point. You can just put start point. So basically, this one is the we need to put the item inside first, and then while there's an item inside, then we need to. Uh, basically run the whole thing so uh, for item in queue which is our first item right now you can get the coordinate x coordinate coordinate which is the the item number zero sorry zero and then y coordinate is y index like basically kind of like that uh -huh. so um so if we get the things out on so um since we know the first one is zero then we can uh, mark is something that we go through it so we already go through the first one so we can put set it as one so that's mean one is something that we already uh, like walk through the, the coordinate basically so so now so now right so now we need to know like what is the what is the uh, next coordinate or point that we can go so the next one is the left right how we know that is the left that we can go so we can do something like this so um, coordinate this point is the starting point which is the zero zero if zero zero is more than zero and y coordinate is more than zero and x coordinate is sorry later i explain again minus one is less than this uh, row length and y coordinate is less less than column length and grid grid x coordinate coordinate minus one later i will explain a bit coordinate is Let me make it bigger. In in zero uh, in x, then we want to like oh yeah, we need to for just now what I say is that we need to store we whenever the path that we can walk through right we need to. Uh, put inside uh, a queue so here is a temporary queue that append the things um, so x coordinate minus 1 y coordinate yeah so what is this mean so basically right uh for example right now we get the we here is the first point which is this one and then how we know that the next one is the something that we can go through is we want to like make sure the coordinate the left coordinate this one is for left coordinate left co left point basically left point here right is something that we can go through if not able to go through then we will not append to the temporary queue so for example like this one minus one is which is this one this point um, is not eligible so because it's not inside is is 
is is minus one so is um this one is zero zero minus one is the minus one is not bigger than this one so it will not append to the temporary queue and it's not inside the zero and x so for example let us let me repeat all of this into other points so we need to check four point so this one is the um, top this one is the right right point and then this one is the bottom bottom let us make it nicer a bit so let me go through with you guys one by one so for example this one top top is mean uh this one minus one the y coordinate minus one my coordinate minus one this one to take out minus one minus one yeah make sure everything is in sync so this one is a uh, plus one plus one plus one plus one is a uh, right hand side and then for the bottom is this one plus one plus one this one take it out take it out oh, yeah. this one okay so just to let you know right so um this one is the left hand side so if let's say uh it's the left hand everything is uh, more than if here it's not what we want so if here the top one top point is not what we want as well because uh, it's out of range out of the index so if let's say it's the right point right it's more than uh, coordinate is uh, zero and then plus one is one one is more than zero which is this one then it's called k and it's uh, in the zero and also x or x so this one is or x so that does mean okay this will we will accept this point as well so we put into temporary queue here and then in the end of this right after we put everything into queue there and then we need to um, override our queue because our queue already finished all this forum we already uh, root through all the all the queue things we need so we collect the new point and uh, so this the, is a temporary queue that we collect all the new point and then pass back to the queue there so the number of steps we need to like uh, plus equals to one so that we can uh, uh, so that we can uh, add up the number of steps so if first, let's say we pass through this step is called them we will add one so how to know that when we are go come able to go to this x uh, path so whenever the point here before we come here right when if the point is if the point coordinate y if the point that we taken out is equals to x which is the final destination then we return the we don't add anything and we can call it the, the the function can be stopped so we can just return the thing so uh let's check whether got any issue or not i think should be all good let us uh, test out the things so it is not showing anything which is why let me check Is it safe? Safe already. Still zero. What problem? Oh, I think I do it wrongly. This one is a one. Later I will test out the. Later I will test out the um, example two. So it's still same. What happened? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. It's zero and.
so let us try again it's still zero what happened let us Let us check out this one. Hey, something wrong, man. Oh yeah, my bad. Uh, this one is not zero. This one is a big. Oh my god. Things should be all good now. Let test again. So yeah, you see, now we get five. So let us uh, understand more uh, based on this. Uh, mm. So uh, we want to know like what is the things that testing it. Yeah, wait, before that, right? So now is we print this one of things. So for this, you see. So let me explain. So now we start from this. Um, uh, Tough, right so we know that let's let's take a look so why is five so it's one two three four five eh, sorry one two three four five so it's a five step so as you see right how what is the path that's going through it so it's a zero zero and then zero one and then for the third attempt uh, uh things it will check is uh it will go through this one one and zero zero two so after that, right, from these two points, you will come to this, uh, 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 from these two points, right, it will go to uh, 2, 1, 2, 1 is this one, and then 0, 3, 0, 3, oh, sorry, 2, 1 is this one, 2, 1, so this is a 0, 1, 2, 2, and then, uh, whoa. Yeah, zero and then two. Well, and then one. This one is a uh, two one, and then this the uh, zero three is a uh, um, first row, and then third column. Third column is a uh, zero one two three. So it's three. So after that, right from this point, it will go to here and then here. So you will see the final step which is the three zero three zero is a zero one two three and then this is zero uh, column basically so it's the x1 so it's this one so it's very clear so let us take a look on the example two which is uh, this one is x is here so it's a uh, if you want to find the shortest path to go to this one is basically from one two three four five six Seven. Okay, let us take a look if we change the things to two. So let us check it out. Yeah, correct, right? So it's a seven. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you guys can check out the, the code as well. And then I think this is the uh the solutions for the Amazon where we want to find the shortest path in a treasure island so let me know if you guys got best solutions and we can share in the comment there and please like subscribe and share thanks thanks everyone bye bye see you on the next video